the water company has excellent employees, and they're local people, and they're going to be able to continue in their profession when the city owns the water company. The board would be formed, uh, similar to the one that RWE has that's 6,000 miles from Lexington, and that that board would uh, probably uh, re-employ the people that are presently running the water system. I, I can't think of any better group with the success they've had in the past to continue that leadership. And uh, I, I, that's very simple to me. When they talk about what a wonderful community partner they have been, they, they didn't build that reputation. They're new kids on the block. They've been here three years and they've devastated uh, people's lives by uh, transferring them to other states for jobs, by canceling jobs here for people. And we talk about happy employees. Well, what about those employees that did not want to go and be transferred but had to hold on a job? I, 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 just, can't, I just can't tolerate the misuse of truth and the lack of integrity in, uh, in their campaign. There's no question that qualified professionals should be in charge, and that's going to be the case regardless. And the people that live and work in central Kentucky that, that are taking care of our water, there's no question that those people are going to be doing it the day after the city obtains uh, the water assets. And in fact, their jobs are a lot more secure if, uh, if the local community is in charge of its own resources because we're not going to shift call centers to some other state. We're not going to shift management to another state. And we're certainly not going to buy or sell the water company on any given year, which is the situation we're in now. You know, we could be owned by anybody in the world in six months' time. 